Hey everyone, I want to show you something really cool. So most of you probably have heard of or tried Notebook LM from Google. Um, it had this amazing feature where you could feed it content and it would create a uh, a podcast for you. So, I mean, I'll, I'll just go to it now and I'll show you. Uh, and when I first heard the podcast, I thought, wow, that's incredible. Imagine when this technology is going to be widespread. And hello, only a couple months later, it is now uh, possible from some other players. Like we actually have access to an API that can create these podcasts for us. And so I uh, I stumbled upon, like, I guess what I want to show you during this uh, video is, is how democratized things have become. Um, I would never have been able to do this a year ago, never. But I saw this last night. I think I saw it on, on Twitter, just scrolling. And I uh, saw that they got funded $20 million or something. And I thought, okay, these guys must be a serious player. What they're doing must be pretty cool. So I went to Play AI. I bought their lowest subscription, which was I think was about $10 a month. And I'm able to use a few different things. I'm, I'm just going to focus on Play Note here. But what you can do with Play Note is they have a, an internal... Um, uh, area here where you can you can load up a whole range of different things. I was testing it last night, uh, just putting in PDF documents of various different things, long, short form, and and what you can do is you can select between a whole range of different voices. Um, so that this is the this is the killer feature for this particular application. It's not as like when you listen to it, it's not as good as Notebook LM in terms of seamless interaction between the two hosts, but it uh, enables you to customize right. So you can customize it with any any voice here that you'd like. Okay, so this is the this is the easy part. I mean, anyone can do this. This is this is not that hard. But what I wanted to do was I want to eventually create this into an app, right? And so um, maybe like a, a, an app for um, enterprise DNA's uh, eDNA labs, like on our website, right? And so I came to the API docs and had a look through. I mean year ago would never have gone to API docs, known what to do. Um, generate AI podcast, right? I came to, I came to here and I said, I, I just came, I, I, I tried to evaluate what I needed. Well, thankfully they've got all the code here, which is great. I didn't, I don't feel like I need to understand every line of this code. What I did to cut, to understand it a little bit better was I put it into data mentor just to understand like the flow of it, et cetera. And so I got good overview of what every, every part of it is doing, but then to actually get this working, I created a folder on my computer and I placed it into an IDE. In this case, I just used cursor because it was the most handy to me at the time. And what I did was I put all the code inside of here. Okay. It didn't work like straight away, it didn't work straight away. So what I did was I opened up the chat area of uh, cursor and I just like started using natural language or well, actually voice. I use voice on my computer with a, with a tool that I've developed myself called echo assist, um, which I'm about to release on eDNA labs as well soon. Once I make a few enhancements, uh, but I was able just through natural language, just to upgrade a few things. I created my like API uh, keys there. Um, and I extended it and then I wanted to customize it. I wanted to customize it with my own voice, uh, like voices, my own voice selection and my own custom, um, hosts, right? Like the text that the host would say. And so what I did was, um, I recently released a video about how I'm using all these latest and greatest tools and I put the transcript into ChatGPT and got it to write me this big, long transcript. Um, I use the O1 models because they're just so superior to the 4O models. And so I got this massive script and then I, um, for it to go into the code, I just got it to be written out exactly like a template that they had there before. And then I, what I did was copy code, pasted it in here. And after all of a few other like small adjustments, they were all done. I didn't code anything. Like I didn't, did not write anything. I just approved what the, um, what cursor was coming up with or what cursor was telling me to do. And it created all these additional um, error, uh, error and debugging uh, lines, et cetera, so that when I actually run it, I can, uh, I can actually see in the terminal, all of the things that are actually going on. And so you see here that I was seeing it was in progress, in progress, and then boom, it was completed. And this was the actual, 
um, this was the actual URL of where it landed. And so then I was able to listen to it and it's, it's not, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's so, it's so amazing. Like what amazes me is the ability for me to do this within, I mean, from me deciding to actually do this to actually a completed podcast, customized podcast was less than an hour, less than an hour of my time, um, to do something quite cool. And my plan is I want to turn it into an application. I don't want to have to go to chat GPT. I don't want to have to go, you know, I want to just build it all in this one app where I can say, Hey, create me a podcast on this topic with these two hosts, and it will just create it for me, save it into maybe a, um, a library and my, um, on my own website. Um, and you know, I could, I could customize various different things in the prompt for the speakers. So there's some, um, you know, really cool ways that you could, you could actually uh, take this further, which I, I, I'm, I might explore later on. The last thing I did, which, which I love these, these, I figured out that cursor can do it as well. I was using this to wind surf, which is amazing. Um, but I realized that, um, cursor can do it too, is that it can push your files to a GitHub repo. And so, uh, very quickly, I was also able to, um, add this to GitHub. And so AI podcast generator and all my code is now here. So now I can take this code and use it, um, use it on my home computer, use it wherever I can share it. Like I am thinking of making this, uh, this open source so uh, anyone can use it. And maybe even, um, we will let our get, uh, uh, enterprise DNA subscribers use, use our, um, uh, our own company, yeah. Uh, APIs. So that's some, some, something that might, we might, uh, we might decide to release soon. And so, yeah, I think it's just, it's just amazing. It's, it's amazing how quickly you can turn these things around. Like this would, you know, imagine having to write this code out two years ago or even a year ago, you know, uh, it would, it would have been too scary to do all of those things, but combining all of those things, I'm just becoming very familiar with it now, very comfortable. And, and you can too, like you absolutely can too. There's no reason why anyone can't do this. Like this is, this is this, I wouldn't even say that, say this is that hard. I mean, building an application around this API, maybe yes, but um, getting to where, where I'm at now is just about exploring. It's literally about opening up a, um, a, a development console like this and just like exploring what's possible. Um, just by doing that, I've become very, very familiar with what's, uh, with, with what you can do. Maybe around this video, I'll, I'll actually place the um, the end uh, podcast that I created, but it's really a podcast about a video that I created. So, <laughs> and the video was about using AI um, development tools. I mean, man, uncanny valley uh, we current, we're currently living in, isn't it? Okay, so play AI, AI new tool that's popped up. Um, very, very cool. I don't even, like I've got an 11 lab subscription and I don't even think you can do this on 11 labs just yet. So it's very, very new. I'm sure this will become more pervasive um, and many other people will provide it because everyone loves it. It is a very effective way to learn, by the way. I love learning with uh, with with a podcast. Um, I find like the interaction of two people talking back and forth is, or two AIs talking back and forth is actually just a little bit more effective than one. So yeah, maybe, maybe others feel the same. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Okay, that's all I wanted to share. But um, look out, look out for. Uh, actually, I might, I might try and find a way to share this code uh, around, like as soon as I release this video. We, 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 we'll see. So watch out for um, some descriptions or something around the video, and um, or if just log into Enterprise DNA Labs, it will be there as well. Uh, that um, uh, that uh, you can, you'll be able to download as well. Okay, thanks all. Talk to you soon.